I do too. You're so loud. Do not come in and out. Mm, this is really good. We put in the pork broth in it. Oh, fantastic. You guys should try it. This is Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product from DrNancyLee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. To learn the most effective way to become a product manager, and you should subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so be notified every time we publish a new video on Wednesday. Today, this video is so different. As you can see, the background, the environment, and how I look also is very different. Was because today I'm inviting you to see the behind the scenes story, what my day and life looks like as a director of product, and especially recently I'm pregnant. Lots of my audience ask me this question How did you even balance work life? And especially as a director, you should have way more stress, and you also have a YouTube channel, you also have lots of students and getting offers every day. So, what does it look like? Now, let me tell you what a different kind of day-to-day -day tasks I do as a director product, then you can make decision whether moving into the director position and also climb up the career ladder is really aligned with your career goal and vision. Every morning, I wake up at 7.30 a.m. And my favorite wake up song is Game of Thrones by Two Cellos. I recommend all of you guys check it out. I usually do not wear makeup when I work from home during COVID. And even if I turn on the camera, I just, I'm lazy and also feel like I don't want to impress anybody. I just make sure I have glasses on with my hair straightened. So that's my casual look. Every week, I will weight myself and also carefully track it because I've been gaining weight during COVID. A bit embarrassing. And on top of that, my doctor also suggests me to track my weight during my pregnancy. No! I usually have European yogurt or oatmeal for breakfast but my favorite thing for breakfast is not about the food it is the plants i love gardening so i just grew some new flowers from the seeds so they are so pretty i'm so excited they're all gemonizing and soon i'm gonna move them to the garden every morning i try to find 15 minutes to do a quick meditation so now we are getting started at 9 a.m. So usually at my day start at 9 a.m. Um, sometimes start at 8.30, so it depends on the needs of the meeting. So usually start at 9. So my first block of my calendar is my quiet time. I call that relationship development time. So usually the way I do it is as a director, not just we do the day-to-day -day product management operations, we also need to focus on working in a larger cross-functional team. So therefore right now it's my quiet time to figure out who do I need to send an email to catch up and who I need to even send a thank you note and also do a planning of the entire week. And actually I have a planner. You can see the old notes I took before that helps me to plan out my day, what I need to do so that I can be more efficient and productive. I also do lots of planning like Jira board for myself in this quiet time from 9 a.m. to 9.30. Guess what? So let me show you my to-do list, especially uh, I have lots of things about what I do for my teaching business, my students, and each different type of task. I put in a different color, then I move it. So we have sessions specialized in improving the student experience, or sessions regarding how to make YouTube videos and what topics I need to make. Um, so I really enjoy this and make me feel so productive. So I hope all of you guys can try this out and comment down below and let me know if you feel more productive using this strategy or not. And here's, this is my desk and actually my computer is right here. And usually in the morning, I will during this quiet time while I do scheduling, besides using my book scheduler, I will also put things on my calendar to see any like time I have in between meetings, I can do some work. So now it's time for me also to check my emails, get back to things, just get the whole day organized. A few moments later. Now it's 9 30. 
I am getting ready for my first customer meeting. So recently we're about to launch a new product. We're really in the very early customer discovery stage and trying to figure out who are the early adopters. So therefore there's a lot of pitch I need to do with our customers and the upcoming meeting is the customer pitch meeting. So I will be meeting invited customer to do this virtual type of COVID type of Zoom meeting with us and they will open up the meeting and I will directly do a pitch to hear about what the needs and concerns and also see if the interest in pursuing this opportunity by purchasing our product as early adopter, just really listening to the market. And also in this meeting besides myself, I have our technical team and BD team and sometimes my boss will also be in the meeting and trying to just everybody figure out who is going to play what part in pitching the new product idea to the customer. As you can tell, when you work from home, you can hear lots of noise in the background. That's my husband. So we're um, getting into the COVID place. And actually, as a product manager, not only you need to like do the Jira ticket and write down what your day-to-day tasks and communicate with engineers, when you move to the end stage of your product launch, you need to have this kind of presentation and communication skills to quote, sell your product to early adopters. So if you want to learn what are the eight different skills required for product managers, you can check out this video. I usually have back-to-back -back meetings throughout the whole day and barely have few half an hour's break. So I want to make sure my meetings are very productive. So the way to make it productive is I always trying to have the agenda set ahead of time and make sure the right people will be invited to those meetings. If it's not a productive meeting, I will just call it out early and have someone else to prepare and redo the meeting. So my next meeting is a review meeting, which is internal meeting. The way we have this is a kind of month meeting and all the directors or different teams need to present to our executive level of the company. Usually they're the C level of the company to tell them about what's the product update, what's new, and what have you learned. And usually not just me, there will be a lot more different kind of directors or executive directors presenting to our C-suite. So that's an important meeting I need to focus. And also every team in this case only have like 10 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes. So it depends on how big your scope is for your presentation. So we really need to get ready. So I'm going to focus and talk to you guys later. In some meetings, I'm not presenting and I will be multitasking, finishing some emails and also start to write some kind of ideas of the next thing I want to do. As you guys can tell, presentation is a very important skills for all the product managers to advance to the next level. You can learn how to improve your presentation skills by watching this video. Okay, I have another back-to-back -back meeting. I have another vendor meeting. Hopefully this is short. To be honest, once you reach your direct level, there's so many people want to sell your stuff. It's crazy. So the meetings during COVID are usually very, very long. And when I'm not presenting, I love to walk around my garden and listen to other people's ideas. Oh, this is so soothing. I also understand right now my garden is empty. That's why I'm growing my seeds and soon we're gonna move them into my garden. Just imagine there'll be lots of flowers. And those are the flowers we seen last year. Here comes the lunchtime. So let me show you my kitchen, but I still have meetings going through lunchtime as well. I'm just keeping myself on mute, on Zoom, but still cooking my favorite Chinese noodle soup, you'll see. Let's go. Now it's lunchtime. Let's make my favorite Chinese noodle soup. If you follow my Instagram, you should know by now. I love Chinese noodle soup. And the 10 different ingredients going into it is all very organic and healthy. And the smell, oh, feels like so distressed during the busy work hours. All right, our Chinese noodle soup is finally ready. Usually when I have lunch, I will play computer in the background because people always schedule meetings throughout the entire day. I have no lunch break. So I'll be listening to meetings and answer questions if necessary and cook my Chinese noodle soup. And usually the best part of Chinese noodle soup is you will put on grandma hot sauce and tangzu sauce. But because I'm pregnant, so this is gone for a year. And I can only do this. And you see the differences So after lunch, I will also do my email cleanup. 
I have a specific set schedule helps me to use my time more efficient. So I usually do not respond to email right away when I received it. I search my inbox and check it out at 9 a.m. where during my quiet time and then I will check again during lunch time or after lunch. This is just right now it's after lunch. And then I will check later this afternoon about three o'clock or five o'clock. So I have a set time that I respond to email in bulk and then come back to zoom in into things I really want to do. So right now it's two o'clock, we're going into the customer interview stage. So when I do customer interview, actually I have the sheet. Basically the customer interview sheet, the way I do it is that when I interview them, I will leave the sheet open in front of me, but I will still show my face um, to gain some trust. And at the same time, I will follow the specific uh, interview question framework, but I will also deviate. When I deviate, I, the new things I add in is always about why. Why you do this? Why you make these decisions? And this really can drive way much more customer insight as well. So I recommend all of you guys learn how to do customer interview. And let me know if this one of the skills you want to learn, comment below down the video and I can make a separate video teaching you how to do it as well. So this customer interview is one hour long and usually in cooperation because we sell B2B product and usually it's one hour long. But if you do like B2C type of interview or like my friend and my students doing the product portfolio and they can do a shorter interview like half an hour as well. So it really depends on your topic. If you want to learn more about product portfolio, you can check out this video. Now, so many of you guys. I have so many meetings, crazy. So um, the next meeting I have is a partner meeting. And to be honest, I've been in meetings whole day. Um, I wish I can take a break, but in this case, the partner meeting, I think I can multitask a little bit. At five o'clock in the afternoon, I will usually stop working and do my pregnancy walk. So it's very important to keep my baby healthy and I live very close to water, so I always walk around the water. Of course, I need to watch out about the coldness in Boston. Oh, sh The executive team want me to submit some documentation. Um, it'll be very quick, okay? I'll be back. 2,000 years later. Okay, I'm back. All right, eh, submit kind of code. I'll heat it up later. Hey guys, that's what's going on. The chief whatever officer just needs something and whenever I ask them when do you need it, it's always now or yesterday. Well, this is what it is. You want to go, you guys want to see the behind the scenes secret? That's the reality. Yes. All right, hit on my seven. Really good. Today we're doing office hours. So once you get here, the first question is, Build an app store for senior users who are age 50. So how to address this? So who is the first volunteer to answer this? Yeah, go ahead. A few moments later. So I just had our office hour today. It's Wednesday. So usually on Wednesdays, we have office hour. That's usually between one hour and two hours. And today is about two hours because we did Q&A session beginning, also did the mock interviews. So I'm very excited helping my student get offers. Guess what? We're, well, actually, this week we got five offers. Um, so that's my day in life. And right now is already 10 o'clock in Boston. Guess what? There's still something I need to do. Do some email or some kind of work for my company, my full-time job. So usually it takes about an hour or so or wrap it up. Um, to be honest, sometimes my boss and others will just message me at around eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, sometimes 11 o'clock at night. So I just need to respond and get back my emails, get some job done. <sighs> That's a long day, but this is typical. And so this is day in life as a director. And if you want to learn more about my coaching program feel free to check out my uh, free training right here so if you like this kind of behind the scenes videos please let me know you know it's all behind the scenes i didn't even have enough makeup but it's okay all for you guys so i really appreciate if you hit the like button subscribe and make sure comment down below let me know if you want me to make more videos of the behind the scenes uh, stories and feel free to let me know as well all right i'm gonna see you next time this is dr nancy Lee. bye